ELA Aviation, the gyrocopter you can pop the clutch to get into the air quickly like a helicopter. These rotorcraft are the business class of gyrocopters, 0 to 125 miles an hour capable and are available globally for someone just like you to go fly. Right, out here at Oshkosh 2024 ELA Aviation and uh, Herbie walked up to me out in the field and said, hey, I got something new to show you. So uh, we're going to walk around their booth right now. All right, so first explain to everybody what this is. It's a, it's a gyrocopter, mm -hmm. right? Um, but what, what's the unique features about it? So this is the only gyrocopter that's now being mass produced that's also a vertical takeoff gyroplane. So every other gyroplane that's out there, you know, you have to have a three, 400 foot runway to take off on and then, you know, they land in 30, 40 feet. That's the great advantage of a gyro is the short landing. Um, but this one is a vertical takeoff gyro. So you need zero runway. All you do is you, it's, and there's no collective or anything else. It's not like a helicopter where you have a collective and everything is so complex. Um, all you do is you press and hold down a button in the cockpit as your pre-rotator. We'll pre-rotate the blades to about 500 RPM. And then when we let go of the button, it changes pitch of the rotor and the propeller simultaneously to, to lift us up and push us forward so that we're gaining that energy in our rotors immediately. All right, so if you could explain to everybody, uh, typically in a helicopter, a lot of times you have to have a forward motion, and some of them are so heavy, you even have to kind of rotate around to be able to get enough lift to go. This, you're rolling in a couple, a couple feet. Yeah, this, it, from, if, it was, if it was sitting here right now and I could pre-rotate, and they let me, I could pre-rotate high enough to where I could take off and get over the Garmin booth right there. It's, it's pretty impressive. So we'll, we'll show a clip of that here in a minute, but we talked off camera and I kind of explained it, described as such as like popping the clutch. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like popping the clutch on your truck to get the thing started, but it, uh, it, it jumps up and it, it goes. All right, so that's a really, really unique feature about this gyro. Let's talk about the mechanics of it. What's it powered by and what type of style or transmission do you have? and so forth. So we're not really using any sort of transmission. What it is, is it's a, it's a gearbox that's driven by a, a shaft that's coming off of uh, a pulley attached to our, uh, a, attached to the, uh, to the prop shaft. So <clears throat> we got a shaft that will go to a gearbox and off the gearbox is gonna come to a, it, this, it's not a Bendix, it's actually a belt driven system. So on the belt driven system, uh, we can pre-rotate, that allows us to pre-rotate to, you know, 500 RPM, where everything else, like all the other gyros, is like a car starter where you have a ring gear and a Bendix, where it's mashing up against each other. But when you're going to the super high RPMs, it's not good to have two gears mashing up against each other and putting that much pressure onto a, onto a ring gear. So we found the way of getting the longevity out of our system is by going and using a belt system. Makes and this is again powered by what? This is the Rotax 916. So it's 160 horsepower um, and 137 horsepower constant uh, 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 as your max continuous. Um, the main advantage that we're seeing over the 916, over the 915 right now, and we have the 915 in our other in our other machines, um, is the fuel economy. The, we're finding that the 916 is burning a gallon and a half to two gallons less fuel at the exact same speed in RPM that the 915 was. So overall for the extra few thousand dollars it's costing us to put the 916 in the machine, customers and everybody else will be saving money later on down the line, especially in resale value because this now has a 2,000 hour TBO instead of a 1,200 hour TBO. Makes a huge difference. Okay, so moving on to kind of like the, the fly or how you fly this, can this be flown from the front or rear or where do you, where do you, you sit? Can, it can be, so if single pilot, you're going to be flying it from the front. While you're getting your training, there is dual controls in the back. So you have your trim, pre-rotator, push to talk, runner pedals, throttle, and brake are all, all in the back seat, as well as the same thing in the front seat. Um, we're using the Dynon Skyview HDX system. Um, and right now, we're, we're working really close with Dynon to, to build this cockpit out for us. And the next thing that we're doing with Dynon is building the autopilot for it. 
Um, so this will be a fully capable autopilot machine in the near future. Um, as of right now, ELA has over 700 gyros flying of the Eclipse and Evo model, which is the model's uh, predecessor to this and we have had the best safety record out of any gyrocopter company in the world. We have over 700 of those models flying and we have zero fatalities, six or seven accidents and all of our accidents have been you know, pilot air accidents. So what would you transition from into this? Like what would be your primary trainer or do you have to train in a, a gyro essentially? Most of the guys who are getting into the gyros are the same guys that are going to be getting into like the carbon cub style stuff. You know, they want to land and they want to take off short. Uh, but the advantage of this is that you don't have to be as cautious with airspeed because you're in a gyro. You can't stall it, you can't spin it, and it has all the great flying characteristics of, of, of an airplane, and you have the cruise speed of you know a light sport airplane. We can cruise at about 117 miles per hour, um, but you have a lot of safety benefits uh, that makes it you know, a much safer aircraft to fly than your typical fixed wing. Sure, sure. And what, let's talk about operational as far as like, you just mentioned this thing was pretty much VTOL, but if you were to, to not use a max performance takeoff, uh -huh. what would your typical rollout be and climb out and so forth? So what we designed the, the system for this system to do is if you don't want to do max performance, you can still pre-rotate to 200 and you can do a regular takeoff or you could pre-rotate to 350, 400 and make your takeoff real short and you're not being as hard on the system for a jump takeoff uh, if you need it. Like if you're on a regular runway and you just want to do a short takeoff just because it's fun, you can still take off in 30, 40 feet and just by pre-rotating to a lower determined speed. Um, and the cockpit in this is, has changed zero from any other gyro. You can't tell in the cockpit that this is a jump takeoff gyro because everything that we do is all fly-by wire. So it doesn't change a thing. Hey everyone, I want to pop in real quick and just kind of give you a little motivator to work on your project if you have a project. And if you don't, maybe consider getting in touch with one of the manufacturers and buying a set of plans or a tail kit or something just to get going. We have, uh, you know, a lot of time coming up here soon over the holidays that you could be inside in your shop working on an airplane. But in the meantime, let's give a big shout out to our sponsors. All right, I'm going to pop in here real quick to talk about our sponsors. As you know, I can't do this all on my own. we got to have somebody to help fuel that truck. We try really hard to work with uh, sponsors that provide a good service and a good quality product. So let's talk about those guys right now. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. All right, Herbie, so this is in fact a kit, but it's only sold as what? We only sell this as a builder's assist because we believe that every aircraft is better when you have a factory rep putting it together with somebody. That's what makes us you know, unique and why we have such a good safety record and we have zero mechanical failures because everybody who has touched one of these gyros before or put together our kit has been to put together with a factory certified rep. So it, it gets a factory check mark before the gyro is delivered to you. So you come to o so you buy the gyro plane, you come to Okeechobee, um, we'll put the gyro plane together with you in a builder's assist. It usually takes about a week, week and a half because everything is composite and all and uh, pre-manufactured. Everything is pretty much just bolt together. So uh, like your painting and everything else will be done in Spain unless you want something special. We have a paint shop in Okeechobee that will also do you know, special requests for per the customer or uh, anything that you, know, they can, you can dream. If you can dream of it, we can build it. So give us an idea of where you would start in the process of the builder assist. Like what sub-assembly or assembly would you begin with day one? Day one, so day one, it's actually gonna look a lot something, something like this. Excuse me, Paula. Sorry. Day, day one, your gyro is actually going to look something like this. It's, it's got, you got your body, and then you're going to have a frame that's going to go together. And um, we'll be mounting the engine, and all the wiring harnesses and everything else are pre-made, so everything's just, you know, pre-plug and play. Um, so we'll be mounting the engine, and then the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to be mounting the tail and the tail feathers, and then there's a little tail wheel that goes on. Um, and everything's already pre-wired. So all, all we're doing is plugging and playing as it, as it goes along. 
The next thing we'll do is we'll go into the cockpit and we'll start assembling our flight controls. So I can pull this up. So we'll go into the cockpit and we'll start assembling our flight controls and you know doing all of our check marks, running our fuel lines and everything else. And <clears throat> and hooking up all the systems that come with the gyro. And then we're installing the seats and interior after that's all happening. And then the final thing that we do is we come up to the cockpit and we install the Dynon and it, uh, do everything with that system. So it's really easy builder's assist because everything that we have to do has to come out of a mold. So it's not, you know, you're not riveting sheet metal together or anything like that. Um, another thing that makes this gyro unique is most gyros don't have a monocoque fuselage, they have a steel frame that's running through the gyro. This body is 100% carbon fiber. There's no steel that runs through this body at all. So it makes it a super strong, rigid body. And every single part of this body is a structural component. So you can stand on it and jump on it and it's not gonna affect the gyro at all. Um, uh, then all of our fuel tanks and everything are also integrated into the body. So it's not like something that we sit there and piddle around with and they're polyethylene fuel tanks. They're good for 30, 40 years. You'll never have to worry about anything rotten out of them. All right, so how do you get into one of these kits? What's the lead time and the, and the price point? So we're gonna be starting out at 168.5 for, for a kit that includes the kit, the builder's assist, registration fees, shipping from Spain, and the DAR with five hours of flight training. So, you know, when we tell you it's 168.5, realistically, 168.5 is what you're gonna be walking out of the door with your gyro. Um, and that's with a 915. 916 is gonna go to 179.5. Jump takeoff is gonna be starting at 240. So you can go to, you can follow us on Instagram and you can go to our website, elaaviation-us.com, or you can go to the ELA Aviation um, Instagram, or you can go to Rotor Rebels, uh, on Instagram and you could DM us and we'll tell you more information about the gyro as well. It was very educational speaking with Herbie during AirVenture at Oshkosh 2024. And I hope you learned something today as well. Thanks to our patrons over at Patreon for your support and Ted1010 in the co-pilot status. If you are interested in showing us some fan support, look us up, Experimental Aircraft Channel over at Patreon.com. And if you have an interest in working with us to create more original aviation content, drop us a line at info at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode.